Friends, good evening. I am Dr. Rajendra Kumar Janamani, Senior Scientist, National Weather Forecasting Center, IMD, New Delhi. I will bring before you the significant weather of last two weeks and then the forecast for uh, next uh, two weeks. Coming to the uh, uh, significant weather features of the week 7 to 13 January, actually during this period, as we all have seen, most intense WD, active WD of this season so far has uh, affected and it started from 7th January from Jammu Kashmir and uh, area and uh, it uh, continued to remain active over Northwest India till 9th January, then moved across Central and uh, Uttar Pradesh on 10th and 11th and on over Eastern parts of India. It, it was also active active during 11 to 13 January. It caused actually fairly widespread to widespread precipitation over these areas and uh, the spells was a uh, two to three day, day over each of the state and on its impact heavy to very heavy precipitation of course over Punjab, Jammu Kashmir, plains of Northwest India, other parts of the Northwest India, then Central India also on 10th and 11th over East MP and also over Chhattisgarh then further over Eastern India and Telangana covering Odisha. Hellstorm reported almost over all these states and uh, in the second half, as the WD moved away from the Northwest and uh, West MP, Northwest India and West MP covering Punjab and also plains of Northwest India, that is Rajasthan, Haryana, uh, and parts of the West Uttar Pradesh and Delhi. So it was a dense fog and low clouds deadlock. And because of that, there was a cold day, severe cold day prevail over isolated places of these areas. And uh, mainly there was a no cold spell, major cold spell, cold wave spell actually, though the day temperature was low, but night temperature was above normal or near normal or just to one to two degree below normal all through the week because we have a very active WD, it left over a lot of moisture and uh, clouding and wet spell and then also followed by low cloud and dense fog. So that's why no cold wave was there. Then during the week, as I was telling about this very intense WD, you can see initially it was three, as seen 63 and not of 22 actually by 7th. And you can see uh, the circulation was well up to the uniqueness is that it was well up to upper troposphere, 9,000, 10,000 meter extending vertical extension and stationary it remained from 7th to 9th. Uh, such a huge uh, cyclonic circulation over this area and then a trough allowed extending up to uh, 20 degree north along 63 and by 13 it moves it, it remained three days almost stationary then start moving on 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 11th and by today it is along 83 north of uh, 26 degree north and uh, as usual with any active western disturbance once it the trough and the circulation is there and drop uh, deep to the north of Bengal, so low level easterly in the air of the system from the Arabian Sea supplied huge moisture during 7 to 10th January. And as the system moved further eastward, then the way of Bengal started, uh, you know, in the lower level, it created a confluence zone actually over central India. And that's why from 11th onward, huge uh, activity. The activity was uh, even heavier and fall over. Chhattisgarh, Odisha, and Telangana for the last three days. So there was a confluence actually that caused. Uh, then coming to the uh, further, the amount if we see by this WD 7 to 13 January, one can see it was over Uttampur 12 centimeter over our NCR Delhi also we have heavy rainfall, Pusa 7 centimeter, Gurgaon, Sohona 7.8 centimeter, Madhya Pradesh 9 centimeter, Nivari. Then over Punjab, if we see very heavy rainfall reported again on 8, that is 13 centimeters over Luthiana, Saharanpur, Beach, North 10 each, Ransa, that is Delhi also on second day, consecutively on 80, 90 also up to 9th morning, 6 centimeters. And then on 9th to 10th, that is reported on 10th, Kandaga, 8 centimeters. Then Bacha, 8, Telangana, 11 centimeters. 12th, it was Kandamal, uh, mainly 15 centimeters very heavy rainfall. Then also other station of the Kandamal district reported heavy rainfall. Balangiri also, uh, Salevata, uh, this has reported seven centimeter. Telangana, Warangal has reported heavy eight centimeter. Then on 13th, Prabhadgiri, that is Warangal reported 10 centimeter. And uh, also the area, uh, again over the Telangana area reported heavy rainfall. And uh, another very significant events where the 
uh, hailstorm actually it was initially till 9th over northwest india that is over rajasthan and uh, then over west mp and then on 10th it was again mp and vidarbha and on 11th madhya pradesh telangana and odisha and on 12th and 13th it was mostly over east mp vidarbha chatisgarh and west from telangana actually uh, as the system moved to eastward as i was telling the wd actually once it moved to towards the east by 10th on the 10th morning the gens fog started occurring many wd over central india or east, eastern part of the india but it was followed with the gens fog normally with any active wd we consider the gens fog follow because it left a lot of moisture so it was punjab haryana chandigarh and delhi on 11th and today also much further uh, the area extended up to uttar pradesh and because of that we have cold days we are cold day over northwest india particularly extreme north rajasthan punjab haryana because we don't get the sunlight and because of this low cloud the day temperature remain below normal and but night temperature continue to be normal or just below normal we don't have any cold condition and one can see actually the wd you can see the how the rainfall heavy rainfall belt moves from west to east you can see and you can see how the cloud huge cloud built up around the wd and very slow movement you can circle around Raj, north rajasthan punjab haryana jammu kashmir giving heavy rain from eight and night and then further moving eastward one can see and moving eastward and today it has given over odisha chatisgarh and uh, over jharkhand also and west bengal one can see so this is the active western disturbance one can see the clouds and the rainfall and coming back to the today condition today uh, if we see the western disturbance is moving across eastern india today it is yeah, almost 85 now by itself and north of 28 and in the lower level there is a still convergence line from interior karnataka to interior odisha in the easterly and there are small small circulation over tamil nadu one is there over sri lanka south sri lanka is there but not much weather uh, but a new wd is affecting the region actually one can see the jammu kashmir and uh, causing uh, isolated scatter light to moderate snow this is the cumulative weekly rainfall for the week 6 to 12 january and this is the total season 1 to 12 january one can see because of that active western disturbance there even such a longer year so most part of uh, north and central india receive excess or large excess or normal all are cool color green and a blue deep blue and the seasonal also very high if we see the actual value in terms of the homogeneous region and the country as a whole one can see that the northwest india is almost 814% plus departure the normal is 5.8 mm but realize is 53 mm very almost 10 times like that also central india even though amount is low but seven times so overall also we has a very high excess Plus 5.8 percent departure, 3.6 centimeter millimeter actual rainfall, 22.6 millimeter uh, is the actual, and 3.6 is the normal. Actually. If we see 1 to 12 January cumulative, that has reflected also besides east and northeast India, which is below normal. Other part like northwest and central India, very high uh, rainfall amount. One can see similar like weekly, and also country has a whole. It is plus 370 percent, 5.5 millimeter is the actual. Realize is 25.8 millimeter. Coming to the weather warning uh, for next five days. This is day one. Valid for today, 13th of our tomorrow morning till, and then 14th tomorrow, and then 15th, 16th, and 17th. We have the very light moderate snow. We have predicted over uh, Himalaya, over particularly Jammu Kashmir, but mostly the uh, currently the WD is active over uh, eastern India. So uh, under its influence, uh, there is the easterly convergence. So moisture are there. So Odisha, Chhattisgarh, and Telangana. All these area will have for next 48 hours, and then see. Then there will be no further activity over this area. Uh, the uh, mainly the warning is for the thunderstorm, lightning, and hail storm for this area. That is Chhattisgarh, Odisha on today, tonight, and also over Telangana. And then on 14th, nothing is there. Only thunderstorm and lightning for these areas. And from 15th onward, they are drastically uh, reducing. Uh, and from 16th, no, no, no significant weather. And about northwest India, as the dense fog will intensify actually further, and it will cover more area to tomorrow morning. And also, the cold day condition will likely to prevail over this area, right over Rajasthan, over Madhya Pradesh, over Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, New Delhi, and whole Uttar Pradesh. 
and at the same time it's cool day condition will be there one can see the temperature will be lower than the normal during the day and night isolated cold will maybe over west mp and part of rajasthan and Punjab. but day two it will little improve and each dense fog will further improve by 15 then from 16 because of the new wd the dense fog condition and cold day condition will be only over parts of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. And coming to the multimodal ensemble extended range forecast for week one and week two, this is the product. So one can see the rainfall, particularly we see more in the terms of the departure from normal. In actual also some rain will be, rain or snow will be over Jammu Kashmir. Our Western Himalaya region will continue, that means WD will continue to affect the region. In terms of the departure, present WD will cause rainfall for next two days over Eastern India. So rainfall will be normal to ever normal over Odisha and over Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. And of course, it will be normal over further north or northwest India. And during week two, it is Western Himalayan region, which will be ever normal. Coming to the uh, uh, further uh, to the temperature part, one can see that the temperature will be uh, for week one and week two. Mainly we look for the departure to see whether minimum temperature or night will be cooler. One can see the central India will be below normal minimum temperature for week one and week two both and also parts of eastern India and, uh, and parts of Maharashtra and, uh, in the week one and uh, week two also. But there is not much indication of the cold wave in the temperature anomaly also. Coming to the summary, the week one, because as I told, there is a favorable western disturbance, so light snow uh, or rain will be there at isolated places over the higher reaches, Ramgasmi, Ladakh, Gilgit, Balchistan, and uh, Gilgit, Balchistan, and Mujaparvat on 13th and 14th. But most important is the easterly convergence line is there along the east coast that is coming from the central, from north interior Karnataka to north interior Odisha. So there will be rain for fairly widespread, uh, like moderate rain uh, over uh, uh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Odisha, West Bengal, Sikkim, Telangana, Coastal Andhra Pradesh today, tomorrow. And then weather Chhattisgarh will have activity isolated to scatter some rain, like to moderate tonight and tomorrow. But most important is the heavy rainfall warning today over Odisha, Coastal Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. And then isolated congestion lightning hail over Chhattisgarh, Telangana, Odisha also for today. And at the same time, northeast mainly Arunachal Pradesh will have fairly widespread rain or thunderstorm will be on 13th. And then after that, during second half, we have two fresh western disturbance. One is a little weak, that is from 16th, it will start affecting mainly over Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, and uh, uh, Uttarakhand, isolated or uh, scattered rain or snow, like to moderate. But second, that is on the 18th, it will cause good uh, fairly widespread precipitation over all these subdivisions I told, Western Himalayan region, and isolated scattered rain all over plains for uh, 18 to 20. And Delhi will really have uh, maybe clouding or drizzle on 19 also. And in the week two, as I, the month has been very active, so there is continuing activity of the WD. We may get one or two WD, and most of the day we may get light to moderate isolated scattered rain over the uh, rain or snow over the western Himalayan region, fell widespread and uh, isolated to scatter in the Arjani plain, mainly during the first half of the week. And we will have uh, also over eastern and Arjani northeast India, the, uh, some system will cause light to isolated to scatter rain thunderstorm. Overall precipitation activity likely to be normal to ever normal over north, west, east and northeast India. And if we see the minimum temperature cold wave at dense fog, mainly the cold wave condition will be actually isolated over northeast Rajasthan, west Uttar Pradesh, west Madhya Pradesh during first half of the week. But cold air condition will be continuing uh, over Gujarat, Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, west Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, and north Rajasthan uh, during next two days. And dense fog will continue over western Himalayan region, over plains of northwest India, and over Uttar Pradesh covering. Punjab, Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi, North Rajasthan, that is the northwestern part, and Uttar Pradesh, as I told, Bihar and Southern and West Bengal, uh, most, most of the day of the week, it is over the eastern part, that is, over east Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Southern, over here as Northwest India, we have a first half, and then Northwest, Northeast India, we have it in the next two days. And if we see the week two, minimum temperature will continue to be normal, to slightly above normal, over most part of Northwest, East, Northeast India, and near normal over the first part of the country. 
No significant cold wave is likely over any parts of the country. However, dense fog will continue to occur over isolated pocket because we have a lot of moisture from the WD keeps coming. So mainly over northern plains uh, during uh, the week to uh, most of the day. Friends, uh, yeah, you please download our app in your mobile. Mausum app for the location specific forecast and warning. Damini app for lightning alert. Medbud app for agro advisory. So you take the warning and uh, keep uh, keep yourself safe and alert. so for agriculture advisory service take the input from Medbud app. We are available at IMD website. Our product regularly updated. Tomorrow also we are celebrating our foundation day. Please participate. I request all of you from 11:30 onward. We will be live in YouTube. You can get it also the from our mosum.imd.gov.in. The link also. You are welcome. You please interact with us. I see our product from social media, whether it is Facebook, it is Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, also, please see our weather video daily and weekly from these links also, blogs also. Start uh, reading. If you, are, you, you have not read, it's very interesting. It is It covers all severe weather events, uh, description and detailed features. Uh, with this, uh, I thank you very much for your patience hearing. We will meet again next Thursday at the same time. Thank you. Namaste.